Hey everybody, it's Jen with Two Sister Bees. Welcome to the channel. Today is Friday and that means it is cash stuffing day. I have my three binders ready to go and I've got my $1,258 to stuff. Let's get to it. So last week I did my double stuffing. So this week some of these binders actually owe me some money. So let's start with that first. We'll start with the red binder. And of course for Valentine's Day, I have to start with husband. He went yesterday and got a tattoo. And let's see what he has in his envelope. He currently has 200. I would be putting in 50, which gives him 250. And yep, you guessed it, 250 does not even come close to what that tattoo cost yesterday. So this is all coming back to me. And so the next one that owes me money is my other guy, Utrid. He owes me $61 for his insurance. I decided I'm going to start taking out his health insurance money. So we'll take 60 and call it even. So I'm gonna take this back. So the other two envelopes that owe me money are my bougie envelope and Mama D's envelope, but I have to do math for both of those. So we'll come back to that. Let's count up our money and make sure that we have $1,258 and get stuffing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three, twenty, ten, twenty, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty five, fifty, fifty five, sixty, sixty five, seventy, eighty, eighty eight. 1258 and that is correct we have $1,258 to stuff today let's get into the red binder Jason is all taken care of Jolene gets 25 so since it is Valentine's Day I thought I would tell you guys how Jason and I met Thought you guys might like this story tell us tell us Let's see what Jolene has first. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. Okay, so she gets one more payment and that will be good for her March card. She's a little ahead, which is good. Little Mr. Uhtred gets $50. And now that I'm putting this in, I'm thinking it probably would have been easier to just take 10 out of his envelope instead of 60, but that's okay. Moving on! So, Jason and I actually met in high school back in 1989, I know. I was 15 and he had just turned 16, and that is not the end of the story. We did not stay together for all of those years. What? Why? Why? So hold on, let's see how much Uhtred has. 100, 200, 300. 410, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 450. Yeah, it would have made more, more sense to just take a 10 out of his envelope, but that's okay. Uhtred's training. He is actually getting some money today in his envelope. I went on their website, the one that I have chosen. They had private lessons and they had a class. I think I'm going to put him in a class first. Let him be around other dogs because he does love other dogs and he doesn't get a whole lot of opportunity to play. So we're gonna put our first $50 into Uhtred's training. And I'm actually a little excited about it. He is a very good boy and he does listen very, very well. And I think that this is just really going to take him up a notch and make our time with him even that much more fun. So excited about Uhtred training. Kid credit, still skipping these kids. They don't need anything. No. Takeout. This one I have a little math to do. So let's see what I did here. So takeout has 23 in it. I would be putting in 25 today for a total of 48, but I spent 45. So that leaves $3 in the takeout envelope. So I'm going to take back this 20 and leave the three. Looks like we don't have any takeout money for this week but that is why I do like these envelopes. Okay, back to the story. So yes, Jason and I met in high school. We dated for a little over a year. We had a great time. We went to the beach every day. 
We skipped school. We surfed. We did all of the things that Florida kids do. Then his parents decided to move away to the panhandle of Florida, which when you're a kid, the bottom of Florida to the top of Florida, he might as well have moved across the world. I mean, I just, we, we just were like, wow. Oh man, my head just exploded. So let's finish out the red binder and see where this little story goes. So Big Give gets 25. I did up it. I wanted to start building this one up a little more. So Big Give now has 20, 40, 55 getaways. I actually am also going to start stuffing this and putting $50. It's not that we have actually figured out a getaway, but with Uhtred starting his training, the master plan is to get him familiar with the training facility because they also have boarding there. And their boarding seemed pretty cushy to me for an animal. So I was pretty happy about that and they have wonderful reviews. So I want to get Uhtred um, kind of involved with the trainers and know the place so that when I take him there, he doesn't feel like he's being left. I don't know. I've never had a dog and I've never left a dog. So I know that I feel really guilty about it. So I just want to make sure that he's okay when he's there and he's not anxious or scared or thinks that we left him. So I hear that dogs don't have a sense of time. So <laughs> I figured if we maybe start with like a weekend or even just overnight and then try a longer trip later, like a four or five night trip later, I'll feel better about it. Anyway, we're going to start stuffing the getaways because we are going to start getting away. Next is clothes and I am still skipping this. I am going to the mall tomorrow and I'm taking back those clothes that have been sitting in my car since December. I promise. Bougie. This is where we got to do a little math. So the envelope currently has 168. I would be stuffing 70 in there today, which gives us 238. But I have to subtract 100 for a brow appointment that I made that was to hold the appointment. I'm getting them ombre again. It's time. So that was $100. And I got my nails done. 45. So that leaves 93. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. One, two, three, perfect. Okay, so 93 is going back into the envelope. And I'm taking back 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. So let's get into the magenta binder. So what ended up happening when Jason moved away was, uh, it was 1989, there was no internet, none of that going on, no FaceTiming. So we had to write actual handwritten letters to each other. And when we would try to talk on the phone, our parents would scream at us every month when the phone bill came in because it was costing them hundreds of dollars. Good times, good times. So needless to say, after about maybe, we kind of held on for a good while. I would say maybe six months of that, we finally just decided we needed to move on. It, it really was a terrible thing because we never fought and we were great friends. Logistically, it wasn't gonna work out for a couple of kids. So we're gonna pause there again. Grocery. I am actually negative $135 in my grocery envelope. We all are. So I would be putting in 200 today and I'm going to subtract that 135 that I'm negative and that leaves me with $65 for the week for groceries. Will she make it? It's a good possibility. I'm getting pretty good at this grocery thing, you guys. So. I think that I can do this. The reason that so much grocery money has been going out, and I'm not trying to blame him, but Jason was off work this past week, the entire week, and he loves to grocery shop and cook, so a lot of extra stuff was being purchased. Mama D, here comes another math envelope. She's got 440 in there. I would be putting another 440 in today, so that gives her 880. We did the lawn for 95. Home Depot, 143, and the electric for 144. That leaves 498. And she's already got 440. So Mama D is getting $58. 55, 6, 7, 8. 58. So while I'm getting this organized, I will fill you in on the last part of our little love story. Hurry, hurry, hurry! 
So 22 years go by and I was at work and um, I was on Facebook and I wasn't supposed to be on Facebook, but I was. And I got a message from someone named Lisa, last name, not going to say, but I didn't recognize the name. So I click it, all right, because that's what you do. You, <laughs> you click names you don't recognize on Facebook Messenger. So I click it and uh, she said, I think you dated my brother in high school, Jason. And when I read his name, I was like, oh my gosh, this is Lisa. Obviously she had gotten married, so her last name changed. She contacted me. Her and I spoke for, you know, however long, I don't know. And we'll get back to that. One, two, three, four, 450, 470, 490, 495, 96, 97, 98. Yes, Mama D has 498. Next is dental, and this is a big one. It gets 350. When I was at the nail salon yesterday, it was so funny because everybody in there was talking about implants and dental work and how expensive it was and going to Mexico and getting it done for half the price. And I just sat there very silently. I did not want to get involved in the conversation, but I just uh, kept thinking, this is my life, dental implants. Okay, so let's see what I'm up to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 1,111.50. That is so crazy. I cannot believe I already have 11.50 in this envelope. Okay, so. It is back on. After speaking to Lisa, she informed me that Jason was single, newly single. He had just gotten out of a five year relationship. And here's the very ironic part I had just gotten out of a five year relationship as well. So, perfectly paced, perfectly timed. We had both been single for maybe, you know, six months or so. That was it. We saw each other and we were married two years later and we are still together and we just celebrated our 10th anniversary and it has been awesome. I can't even tell you guys. I swore I would never get married again and so did he, but here we are living happily and uh, yeah, crazy story. Good old Facebook bringing people back together again, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. My situation was good, thank God. Okay, so back to the cash stuffing. Medical gets 50. 50. And let's see what this one is up to. So what I would like to hear from you guys is in the comments below, tell me where you met your partner. Was it high school, college, a party, work? Spill the tea, guys. I want to hear where all of you met your partners. And if you're single, I want you to put free as a B in the comments so either way, I want to hear from all of you. Medical has 250. Credit card. I actually accidentally skipped this one last week. But that's okay. We'll just put the 150 in and let's see what we're up to. 100, 200, 300, 450. RV gets 250. And this is the RV that we already have. I don't know what I did with my math, but I have written here that I'm going to give it 250, but I don't have the 50. So we're going to do, we're going to do the 200 and hope that I didn't mess up the rest of this. So we're going to put 200 in. It is empty because I made a payment of $1,050. So excited about that. RV insurance gets nine, nine dollars. And when we get the new RV, this is probably going to go up a little bit, but not a whole lot. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yeah, I think um, some of you were surprised at how cheap the RV insurance was and wondering why it's cheaper than my car insurance. We don't have the type of RV that you drive. Those have higher insurance. We have the fifth wheel RVs, the kind that you pull. So that insurance is a lot lower. New RV. I'm actually skipping this one this week and we're going to move on to VW and that gets 41. And let's see what this one is up to. This envelope worked out really well. I um, had my insurance and my registration ready to go when it was time and I love when that happens, when it totally works out. Christmas was another one. That worked out perfectly. I loved it. Okay, so VW has 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 82. And let's move on to the pink one. Okay, first is Emergen B. This is a tracker 
Each little honeycomb is worth $10, and when you are done completing the tracker, you will have saved $1,000 for an emergency. So I'm upping this one a little bit, and I have decided to start giving it 50 a week instead of 20. So let's color in five honeycombs. All colored in. Emergent B now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 30. This tracker is actually available in our Etsy shop. It is at Two Sister Bees. There is a ton of stuff in there for you guys. If you are wanting to start an emergency fund but don't want to spend any money, we also have a freebie version in the description below. Click the link, you'll see all of our freebies, and Emergent Bee is one of them. So go ahead and print that out and start your Emergent Bee fund. Next is Starbucks. This is the one that I am saving up for my daughter in law, Miss Sam, and I was telling my son that I was doing this for the girls. His girlfriend is Kylie. This is my future daughter-in-law. So I was telling him that I was doing this for the girls and he was like, oh my gosh, Kylie is gonna love that. She loves Starbucks. And for some reason he said, I think Sam's birthday is in February. So we checked and it is in February. So I have this pay period and next Friday to fill this up. So Sam's Starbucks card is getting $65. So let's color all of these in. Okay, so I colored in 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, five for Sam's Starbucks tracker. I love this. It is starting to look so cute all colored in and I cannot wait to give it to her. So let's see what the Starbucks is up to. It has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 280. And not all of this is for Sam. I think the tracker does end up being like $205, but I had already started for Kylie and Nicole, so some of that is there is their Starbucks money and I can't give it away, right? Those girls will come after me if they see me giving away their Starbucks money. So let's move on to my $1 challenge gets 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Fives, two fives. Empty tray, but don't go anywhere. Make sure you are watching this Sunday's video. Jason is going to have his surprise ready to go for you guys. So if you have not already hit the subscribe button, it is right there in the corner. Hit that button and be a subby and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.